So it's fall, guys. Uh... <laughs> Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious fall vegetable chowder. All right guys, it's fall, the leaves have turned, it is time for delicious warming soups. This is like a take on a clam chowder and a corn chowder, but with vegetables, so I called it a vegetable chowder. Just go with me on this. It's delicious, it's warming, it's thick. It's like a hug from the inside out, and I think you're really going to like it. In a large saucepan, we are going to heat up three tablespoons of your favorite cooking oil. I like avocado or coconut because they have a high smoking temperature. And we are going to throw in some onions, garlic, carrots, celery, and potatoes. Then we are going to cook those for about four to five minutes or until your onions are translucent and some of the veggies are starting to get soft. The potatoes won't, but don't worry about it. We will get to those after. At this point, you can season your vegetables. I'm adding about half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of vegan butter or margarine. This is completely optional. I just find that it helps with the creaminess and that like really nice like New England clam chowder type flavor. Butter. Butter, it's delicious, who doesn't like butter? So we're gonna add a tablespoon of that, just let it melt, give it a good mix. Then we are slowly going to mix in a quarter cup of flour. Mix that all together and let that cook for about two minutes. Now we're going to add in half a cup of wine, give that a good stir to get any like crunchy bits on the bottom of the pan. That's where all the flavor is, you really want those. Let that cook for a couple minutes until the wine has reduced about half. You want it to evaporate a little bit. Now we are going to add in one and a half cups of frozen corn. You can use canned corn, fresh corn, whatever corn you want. We're going to cook them through anyway. Four cups of vegetable broth and half a teaspoon of thyme. Bring that to a boil and then, yeah, yeah, that's right. You wanna bring that to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer, cover it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or until your potatoes are cooked through. You want your soup to thicken up a little bit, so keep an eye on it, not too, too much. When your potatoes are tender, we are going to add one cup of soy milk. You can use any non-dairy milk that you like. I prefer soy milk because it has a higher protein content. A higher protein content? Higher protein content. It has more protein. Let's go with that. You can then cook that, not you can, you should. Just cook that for about three to five minutes and your soup is ready. At this point, you can go in and taste and then just season to your taste. You might not need to add more salt and pepper, but give it a good taste and add more if you need it. I like salt. I always end up adding too much salt for other people, but not for me. I'm salty, no. That's not how that saying goes. Anyway, moving right along. Now we are ready to serve this guy. You can garnish this with parsley, some chili flakes if you want, and serve it with a nice piece of crusty bread on the side. Or toasts, delicious toasts with like some vegan cheese spread or butter, delicious. All right, let's give this guy a taste. Mmm. I'm obsessed with corn. I think every dish should have corn in it. It's just so sweet and yummy. The potatoes are a nice alternative to clam meat. Clam meat? Is that how you call that? I don't know. I never ate seafood. But this is effing delicious. I think you'll really like it. So, how's your day? All right guys, there you have it, a delicious fall vegetable soup that will keep you nice and cozy on those cold winter or fall days. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, and let me know in the comment section below what fall recipes you, yes you, want to see next. And speaking of more fall recipes, don't forget to pick up my cookbook if you haven't already. It has some awesome vegan soups in here, like a pumpkin soup that I think you'll die for, and bunch of other warm comfort food recipes so if you haven't picked that up you can get it on amazon or wherever books are sold like indigo or barnes and noble or well those are the only three places that i know of off the top of my head okay bye